Okay, you probably heard the words UV radiation, X-rays and radio waves before. But have you ever stopped to think about what these things really are? Well, they're a part of the electromagnetic spectrum, which is a whole bunch of types of radiation in the form of waves. This short colored section here in the middle represents the visible light that we can actually see. But to give you an idea of what life would be like without the parts of the spectrum that we can't see, Let's turn off all the parts of the spectrum except the visible light. What's wrong with my radio? My radio is broken! Oh! Taking the radio not working. TV's not working either. The lights are working. Why is the TV not working? I gotta call somebody. My phone's not working. My phone's not working, the radio's not working, the TV's not working. Maybe there's something on the internet. I got no wireless signal. Oh no. I'm gonna get a new work done today. Mm -hmm. Not new wireless. I'm gonna go to Jones. That's what I'm gonna do. He'll know what to do. That's what I'm gonna do. Whoa! My organic Thai stir fry food is not heating up. What is wrong with the microwave? I'm going to starve! Come on, Jonas! The garage door's not opening! Come on! Keep going on! Finally, buddy! Ah! Tough call, man. All right, let's make things really hard. Let's see what would happen if we also turn off this section of the spectrum. What? It's getting dark now, it's morning? Oh! <laughs> Many electronic devices we use every day use some form of electromagnetic radiation in order to function. Hey, even all light and all the colors we see are examples of electromagnetic waves of different wavelengths. Let's recap this. All the devices Rob tried to use this morning normally function using electromagnetic waves of different wavelengths. The electromagnetic spectrum ranges from short gamma and X-rays to long radio waves. Gamma and X-rays have very short wavelengths that are fractions of the size of atoms, but radio waves can be thousands of kilometers long. Wavelength simply means the distance between repeating units of a wave of a certain frequency. And frequency is the number of cycles per unit time. Electromagnetic frequencies range from about a million hertz for gamma rays to only a few hertz for radio waves. Wow, so you saw how difficult it was for me in my house. But think about what could happen all over the world if we lost electromagnetic waves. So we've learned that electromagnetic waves make many things in life possible, from using the internet, to the radio, to seeing any light at all. As always, we encourage you to never stop exploring your world. That was good. Alright, now it is your turn. What would a day in your life look like without electromagnetic waves, except the visible light? 
Well, do some research and make a list and see if you can figure out where in the electromagnetic spectrum the different things fit in. Have fun and good luck. Make many things in life possible. I'm using the internet. <laughs> oh. Electromagnetic ways, electromagnetic.